we'll go normal for that. Normal for that. Because we've, we've played Dagnarompa before, so... This isn't our first... Ro dog Dag Rodeo. <laughs> that was... Awful. But yeah, I, I don't know what to expect. Like, this is the first time really on a fan game where I've went completely, like, unaware. Because other fan games I've seen has been, like, kind of more fan fiction. More of, like, based in the universe. But I, I'm interested in, that, in actually, like, seeing... Oh, life is no real meaning. We just exist by chance. Born to a planet that didn't really want us to begin with. It's up to the best of humanity to give a world, give the world a purpose. People like me. Those who shine brighter than others. We have influence on the greater society. Ultimates. We are known of us. Ult we are. My words are tangled already. Ultimates. We are known as ultimates. Ultimate titles are awarded to expe exceptionally talented high school and college students. Doctors who can cure incurable, the incurable. Engineers who build machines to improve millions of lives. The most influential politicians, the most creative art architects. These are the people who deserve lifelong recognition. Who define what it means to be a true ultimate. I, Damon Mitzel. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's voice acting. A prodigy among prodigies, someone who simply can't be outmatched. Oh, oh well, me. I onto my title dearly because it defines me. It's who I am. It's what gives me my purpose. Among All right, lad. Mediocrity. I am a shining example of talent. <laughs> okay, we're well, right. Pop off. <laughs> I was about to say pop up, Ken. Yeah. And now, oh. a school worthy of me. To Mr. Damien Matsu, the ultimate debater. Congratulations for your contributions as an ultimate. We cordially invite you to attend Eden's Garden Academy, a specialized college for academic based talents. At our unique academy, not only will you develop a tighter grasp of your respective skill set, but you and the other Ultimate students have received the invitation to gain an ever-important proficiency as leadership, communication, and persuasion. Oh, here we are. Uh, the thing is, this is just giving me, like, so much nostalgia already of the... of, like, the old games, and I love it. In an age where anyone begin can be called an Ultimate, we hope you can all join us and assume your rightful place as the true face of talent. Please keep the contents of this invitation, as well as the attached registration materials, strictly confidential. The integrity of our program is built on the foundation of privacy. Ethan's Garden Academy. The ultimate academy of true ultimates. It was built in partnership with the Ultimate Talent Programme, a government institution that awarded ultimate titles to the people for the most, almost the last century. You don't need to apply for UTP school, they scout out students, which is how I found myself receiving a letter from the Eden Gardens Academy. It looks like an amazing school, immaculate architecture, incredible workspaces and access to resources beyond anything I've ever seen. Everything about the school is perfect. It's truly worthy of being called ultimate. In my 18 years of living, I've accomplished more than most people ever heard, could even dream of. Within this random and chaotic existence, it feels like I was destined to be great. After what seemed to be like hours of waiting, the train arrived before me. It wasn't as uh, nice looking as I expected, at least not for a school this caliber, but it was uh, undeniably the one. With the luggage in hand and pamphlet in the other, I boarded the train. This was my start of my new life, the start of an even greater career. For the first time in my life, I will be finally among people as great as me. I I, I went like the full... Huh?
What's going on? Cutscene? We we getting cutscene? Oh, this is uh Yo! Someone else is here. Oh look, it's the oh. I'm gonna try to look right <laughs> or you see. Oh Huh? Someone else? Oh. Hi hi! Welcome to the Eden's Club. Oh. Well, it's more accurate to say Eden's Garden Academy's Club, but Eden's Club just has more of a ring to it, don't you think? In front of me, spread out across the train carriage, was a group of strange looking people. A girl with pink hair, some guy in a wolf. Uh, I, I, I didn't want to question the wolf guy. One guy in a weird beanie stared at me intensely. What in the hell? Who are these creepy people? Really attending the same academy as me? Apathetic to my situation, the train continued from its halt. It looked like I'm stuck here for now. I guess I should find somewhere to sit. Hey, you! New guy! Oh. Hey, there's a familiar sight, the sprites. I just chugging them. Over here! Hello? Can you hear me? Seems like I've got the attention of one of the other passengers. What now? What do you want? What if? Cool. I I was I was wondering something. <laughs> Whatever it is, I'm sure you can ask an employee. I am honestly not in the mood. Uh, oh, oh uh, um, sure. Frowning and dropping his head, he walked away. Howdy. Uh, excuse me, but I don't happen to know when the final stop is. Do you? A girl's voice was suddenly chimed in from behind me. Jeez, can you people people leave me alone for, for five minutes? No. Not a clue, but you can try looking around. Oh! <laughs> oh, hi! The worst coat caught my mouth and I turned to look at her. This woman had to be twice my size. <laughs> hmm? Is something wrong? I, 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 I mommy? No, mommy. <laughs> Yeah, I don't fret, darling. I was just see who else is from around. With a small wave, she walked away. The people here just kept get weirder and weirder. I really hope none of them are in my class. Not wanting to get bothered any further, I found myself a seat by the window. This situation was nothing like I expected, but at least the view from the train was nice. Mountains framed by a deep blue sky, crystal clear rivers that sparked like jewels in the sunlight. It couldn't be more radical departure from home. Serene scenery continued to pass, time flying by with it. The chatter from the others on the train eventually softened, leaving just me in the rolling mountains. <laughs> Nearby, a woman in professional attire dressed turned her nose up in the air and started sniffing. <laughs> After a moment, she expressed another face turned stone cold serious. Something is wrong. The the air doesn't smell right. Oi! Oi! Oh she she is true. Huh? The air? Work. Uh, hey, I smell something too. Excuse me. Could you describe it? Hmm. Hmm. Kinda chemically? Almost like it's coming from what? That bag over there. She pointed at the travel bag from the opposite end of the car. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Should I just do it like... Pardon me. Is, is that your bag? After inspecting the outside of the bag, he began fiddling with its lock. <laughs> cool! He got it open! That wasn't locked. Huh? Are you alright? Yeah, bro, I'm, I'm, I'm good. I'm just gonna go. Oh! Oh! Christ almighty! <laughs> Did he just pass out? 
Ah. From the same end of the car, the guy who was staring at me earlier. Um, not feeling so good either. What did you say? Good night. What the? <gasps> People are dropping like flies. Holy, Holy crap, guys, someone can't help. For real? Let me try and alert the conductor or something. Ran right for the door to connect to the adjacent car. Rattle, rattle. Oh, it's not opening. Why is it not Step opening? Back. I want to try my hand at it. Can you step aside for a sec? He yanked the door, but... Damn. The car is locked up as tight as a prison. Oh, oh. Come off the grass. I can't tell. I can't tell if it's Australian you know. or. <gasps> I can only the left of our piss like an miracle. <sighs> Let me try something else. Big man rolled his shoulders and threw himself against the window with all his might. Huh? <laughs> he groaned and stepped back, revealing he hadn't left a bark in the door. <gasps> what? That did nothing. Oh, there's a boy who's fallen. A girl too? Oh, why is everyone passing out? She has maybe something to do with the bag we... <gasps> they around me growing thick with a strange pugnant smell. I can taste it. I feel the sting, sting in my head. Oh god, no. Don't. A few doubt plea left my lips. I felt my strength trail away with it. The wall flickered around me and... And there was nothing. Vows woven by stitches and needles. Oh, here we go. It's time for the point where everything turns. Huh? What was that? Humming noise? It sounded like almost like an air conditioner. If that's the aircon, why am I so warm? It really opened my eyes. Above me was a concrete ceiling. Concrete ceiling? My body was so heavy, but I had to get on my feet. I had to see where I was. Huh? It's a girl. Could, could that be? She's... No, she's still breathing. So she's asleep. Just like I was. Kneeling down to our level, I reach my hand and shake her. Hey! Can you hear me? No response. Bring my face close to hers, I repeat the question. Hey! Can you hear me? Why is she not waking up? Damn it. Do I actually have to... <gasps> Holy! Her eyes snapped open and caused me to jump back. Ah, no. oh, I was just testing you. Testing... me? Mm. To see what you, you would do. It's not every day you'll find a body on the floor. That's... So, you were awake that whole time. We woke up before you, yes. And she just let me sleep. Anyways... How long was I out for? Sure. I do not know. I woke up and I didn't wake up that long ago. When I first came to, I was also startled to see a stranger. See? One could never know if they're in the presence of a friend or a foe. Mm. Which is why I needed to see for myself how much I could trust you. By lying on the floor and making herself vulnerable? Jesus, she makes some sense. So it's just to break up the conversation, I looked around the room. It was definitely some kind of boiler room. There didn't seem to be a light switch anywhere. The only light came from a vent far back in the room. Looking at my close surroundings, I was standing in a platform with stairs that led down the rest of the room. On the lowest floor was flooded. I say the water reached a little above my ankles. It was a place that certainly had been abandoned for a long time. Hmm. Even with all that strange things around me, I guess you kept returning to this girl. There was something about her that almost... Seemed almost familiar. Wait, that's it. She was on the train when I boarded. her. But... Hey, we've we've met before. On that train. Yeah. Hmm. Things it's turned upside down. Well, not long before you arrived, a strange smell came. Started to come from that travel bag, and then everything turned black. black. Right. And just what the hell was that? Listen to me. Well, I think it was a chemical agent. The bag must have been equipped with a gas bomb or something. Someone clearly wanted to knock us out. Sounds like she'd been thinking hard about it. Maybe that's why it took her so long for her to wake me up. Sure, I was thinking the same thing, but whose pack was it? Why did they want to knock us out? And why won't, aren't we on the train anymore? Where are we? Look at this. Considering our surroundings, some kind of boiler room? 
She almost raised a hand and pushed up her guard glasses. Almost large and metallic on her wrist caught my eye. It looked vaguely like a watch. Okay. Hey, what's that in your hand? Yeah. You tell me. Who's do you have one as well? Oh, are these gonna be our student handbooks? Like that kind of like what we're getting for the student handbooks. And at my words I looked down in her oh, hand. No. Oh sure enough, I was wearing the same device. I'm fitting totally around my wrist, but I felt like I was it was like I was wearing nothing at all. Hey, I'm not wearing this. I grabbed a hold of the device and pulled. A tiny surge of electricity ran through my wrist. Uh, that was humiliating. Oh, sorry, I should have warned you. If you try and take it off, it shocked you. Thanks for the heads up. Oh, crap. What's going on here? Why am I still wearing this weird shock collar thing? Who put this on me? You can touch the screen now. Oh, see? Like this. She tapped the face of the device. It slowly lifted up and displayed a holographic image. Oh, that is awesome! So, like a watch. <laughs> it's projecting a blank screen for some so... reason. Either way, we're stuck in this defi with this device for the time being. Moving on. While you're still standing there, at least you can do is give me your name. We didn't have much of a meeting on the train anyway. <coughs> Demi Matsu, ultimate debater. I'm a student at Ethan's Aca Garden Academy. Interesting. Hmm, how interesting. Okay. What is it? Mm. Thank you for telling me more than I've asked for. As for myself, you may call me Eva Tsunaka. Eva Tsunaka? Oh! So we got our first in first introduction. Nice. <laughs> we don't even actually find out what our talent is. I'm guessing some type of scientist. Something that's playing an annoying mechanical device. Welcome to Project Eden. Yeah, there we go. A lot has changed. Already happened. I'm sure you're eager to investigate, but there's something you should get acquainted with first. Access to trinket, or known as Damon. Or as Damon so closely put it, the watch. But but the F1 key. Oh. If you pass dialogue, F2 key. That's the server mode. Press the enter key. Exit. Oh, and use the WAS to pan around the room. Ever need to revisit information? Control panel. Okay. So. The watch. Um, okay, that's settings. Okay, quickly save the now. Alright. And then. So. Alright, there's the dialogue. Investigation room. Oh, I like. Oh, I like this. It's like, oh. It's, it feels very dang wrong, but I like how it just. Okay, let's check out the boxes first. There might be something useful in the pile of dusty boxes. <laughs> Light bulbs, duct tape, a bunch of screws. Nope, nothing here but junk. Uh, nothing there. Camera. Used to this, say. Right? Eh? Staring at me from the corner of the room was an expensive looking security camera. Has this been recently installed? It seemed much better suited for a vault than a crappy boiler room. You not notice the you notice the camera too? Yeah. Yeah, it's really out of place. Do you think someone's watching us through it? It doesn't seem like it's turned on, so I didn't. Mm. But I see, perhaps it's for the best. What do you mean? If someone's watching us, it's possible they are the same person that put these rich straps on us. She makes a decent point. Alright, uh, so there's a boiler, and then it's this generator. There's a generator under the vent. Is this what's making the mechanical noise? Seeing the Seeing it in water kind of puts me on edge. I was thinking of checking out the window above it, but now I'm not so sure. Doesn't it be... Eh, the room's too run down for me to investigate anything else. Hmm. After the corner of my eye, I saw Eva approaching the pile of boxes and fish at a uh, light bulb. Then, without hesitation, whoop, she chucked it in the water. Uh -huh. What are you doing? Mm. Hmm. All of a sudden, she jumped from the platform we were standing and into the water. The Seriously? What the hell are you doing? Can't you see? Exploring. You're not worried about the generator? Look, the light bulb threw into the water. Notice it's not flashing. That means the water isn't conductive. Fair enough. I guess she's not worried about her getting her shoes wet either. <coughs> okay, just give me a second. I took off my socks and shoes and quickly rolled up my pants. 
trying to hide my discomfort between behind a cool face, I descended the stairs into the murky water. The mechanical noise was even louder now. It sounded almost like it was coming the direction of the vent. Yep, definitely must be the generator. We're lucky the water isn't conductive. Those exposed wires would have been bad news otherwise. But for sure, such a small generator it sounds like it's running a lot of power. I'm surprising how much noise came alone came wasn't enough to wake us up. Whatever knocked us out, the train must have been pretty strong. Anyway, that explained the warning noise. I wonder where all the powers are going. How the, the on the wall was a vent. What could be on the other side? Do you want to look through it? Yeah, I do. All right, I have an idea, but it will take some physical yeah. effort. Like what? Well, like getting on my shoulders. Seriously? I'm not doing that. If you get on my shoulders, it will give you a boost, and you can look through the window. Fair. Fair, but shouldn't I be one giving you a boost? Hmm. I don't think you could handle it. Saying that, she stepped in front of the generator and put a motion for me to come over. Make sure to tuck your feet behind my back. I waited over to Eva and Oculus positioned myself on her shoulders. Are you sure you can do this? Huh. I'm fine. Just look through the window already. Alright. I just noticed that is that like the actual design on this jacket? Oh. Huh. Well, do you see anything? Yeah, another vent and a room just across from that. Can't see what's in the room though. Both of these vents are in the way. Taking a closer look at the boiler room vent, I noticed there's hinges bolted in the t upper corners. Does that mean the vent can be opened? My finger around the grate in front of me, I pulled as hard as I could. Hey, I got it open! Can you see better now? Although for the second vent, I was still stuck to it a, l a little room. I was able to make sure the legs of tables and chairs. They're pretty fancy looking. It was the floor of some fancy room. We must be in building on multiple levels. Weird that this vent opens up into another room instead of outside. Eh? Just beyond the chairs, in the very corner of the room, there was something peeking out. A person's legs? I can feel my chairs tighten. Is he also passed out? Uh, hello? Can you hear me? No response. Damn it! There's gotta be a way inside this room. Eva, can you let me down? Uh, uh, is someone in there? I, 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 I think it's a guy. He's lying on the floor and I'm pretty sure he's passed out. He might know something if we don't. If we're not there when he wakes up, we might lose him. The room's on a level above us, she said. Right. Which means there must be stairs somewhere. Focus. We have to find them. To leave an area, press the R key. Let's confirm the choice. With you. In case you have a second. Right. Okay, pan round. Um, are you sure you want to leave? Yes. All right, let's go and see. Oh! As soon as I was out of the water, I threw my socks, my shoes, and ran for the door. Upon leaving the room, I was greeted with an equally derelict hallway. The walls and floors were the old matty colour and nothing else to them. The wall decor, the windows, no life whatsoever. However, there was one thing that stood out. At the very end of the hallway, where the corridor took a sharp turn, was what looked like sunlight hitting the walls. Does that mean there's the exit right around that corner? Oh, that made me jump. Don't go running off without me. Uh, I've had already expected the rooms in this hallway, so you can just know them. When did you do that? Well, you were asleep. You weren't waking up despite my best efforts, so I decided to investigate my own. Hang on. Your best efforts? Poking you in the face, dragging your feet. I even bridal carried you at one point. Not sure I can believe that. Anyway, I haven't checked what's upstairs, so I didn't walk that f too far from where you were lying. Ah, uh, you didn't think to get help? No. You two obviously- you were obviously breathing. Really? That doesn't answer the question. You only started to wake up after I returned from my search. How does that get in the way of finding help? Unless you didn't want to leave me here alone? I can't figure her out at all. This floor didn't turn up anything useful, by the way. The rooms were just a bunch of storage closets, completely dilapidated, filled with random That's... stuff. That was the case for every room. If you don't believe me, you can check it out for yourself. That's what my great grandmother's brother's friend, motivational calendar, once said. You can't progress unless you have a will to move on. Please just look up the walk. 
Since you're in a hurry, hold the strength, shift the sprint. Last of not least, proceed with caution. You never know what could be hiding around the corner. Oh, I, I, I don't like. Does this mean like we could actually die? Ever? Okay, let's let's take wide, wide, wide bursts, wide bursts. Caution. What is that? Caution. Okay. Wide bursts. Wide bursts. I can't go any wider. Oh, there we go. Oh, the upper floor was a lot of the better condition of the lower one, but that's not saying much. What the stains covered part of the walls and ceilings. I guess our pipe had broken and started leaking. And why am I go I've got this voice? Uh, there doesn't seem to be any mold, at the very least. Uh, so... The room with, uh, with the unconscious man should be above and adjacent to that boiler room. That means it must be the other side of this hallway, correct? Yeah. Yeah, given we walked away from the boiler room to get here. Mm. Alright, let's investigate. Okay, white bursts. Huh? White bursts. Okay, that. Right. Oh, wait, so it doesn't let you through there for now. Okay. Wipe. Okay, that is gonna get. I I hate that. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Can, can you just not scare me? Is that a possibility? Just not. Okay, I I hate this. I can't believe they made Dagner on a horror game. Wait, is it this one? Rattle is locked. Here. Definitely not the right way. Okay. Oh, these are... It's a rabbit. Looks like an owl. Okay. Alright, I, I... I hate this. I hate this so much. Oh. A raven. Oh. <sighs> a fancy looking woman wearing a crow mask? No. It's not something you see every day. What's the other one? A lion. What's one in here? This must be the room. Take a deep breath, I pushed open the large doors. Okay. <sighs> wow. This place is this is pretty stylish looking place. A lot better maintained than the rest of the building. Hmm. Okay, the vent probably should. Oh, oh, this keeps. Uh, hi. Huh? Oh, before I had a chance to react, the woman drove her fist directly inside my head. Uh, who the hell do you think you are? I, I, I. I... Hello, mate. Oh, what the hell? Who the hell are you? Oh, crap! Why did you just hit me? I'm not gonna embrace the stranger without opening the bloody arms. You could have been a murderer. So your innocence attack everything you see? <laughs> hey, I've already spent one guy in a suit. I'm not gonna let my guy down for one second. This guy in the suit. Eh? Oh. Hello. Hello. <laughs> this guy in the outfit he's wearing. Oh, we've met before, haven't we? Curious. Oh, I was going to say, I recall seeing your faces on the train. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the two of you were standing next to each other. Do you guys know each other? Not at all, we've only formally met a few minutes ago. Oh. Anyways. Well, you were still knocked out by the sleeping gas stuff, right? Uh, don't remind me, so Bean. I can't find, can't find the Aussie. I, I'm going for like the thing of like, Aussie. Good day. Uh, uh, I've got on the bogan accent. Uh, what? Uh, yeah, that's right, I said it. Yo, soybean, just like the loser next to me. I disagree, but I should focus on what happened on the train. I don't know what the heck happened, but one second I was on a train, next I was surrounded by tall darkness. The place was like a solitary confinement chamber. I thought I was going to suffocate in there. I, what, what, what is this? 
Oh, I can't get the axe. What are you see doing? Ha, see that pantry over there? Yeah. Turns out the door was unlocked. Please. You wouldn't say the pantry? <laughs> I wish I kicked that open. I nearly jumped to my skin. What the hell were you doing while she was in there? Uh -huh. Waking up. Ah. Uh. <sighs> it's not unfair. I got stuffed in some. Uh, I, I can't. I'm trying to find. Uh, this is bothering me. Ah! Uh. Oh, Bogan. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, uh. By the way, mate, ah, uh, I'm trying to think of hell bells. It's not unfair, I got stuffed in some tiny pantry while this guy had the entire floor himself. Whoever's responsible for this must have been jealous of my town. You won't believe how many jealous men in order to turn turn violent in this industry. Industry? Hey? hey? What's up with the dumb face? You know what I am, right? What was I supposed to? <laughs> Uncultured swine. My name's Grace Madison, ultimate golfer. Don't forget it, soybean. Oh, what? I'm trying to think the accent. Because Grace Madison. I'm guessing they're all like American. Because it's. Golf. It's like Boston. To you on that train, that means you're ultimate as well. <coughs> what about you? Oh. Can you tell me your ultimate talent? I'm Wolfgang Akade, the ultimate lawyer. Here's my card. He's a lawyer! That's gonna be useful. Oh, Wolfgang. Oh, and he's got sheep! I know, it's always. You always got a sheep of wolf's clothing. A lawyer? That's way better than a golfer, but for such a long looking guy, we didn't expect him to have a talent like that. His age must be what makes him an ultimate. You you must be confused. I'm, I'm not confused, I just. You, I look too young, is that what you think? I understand. I get that a lot, even Miss Madison said it. <laughs> yeah, because it's true. Oh, don't you think that can say for yourself? I'm not wise in the name of sports, but I've always had the impression of golf as an old man business. <laughs> not that young woman should take, shouldn't take the reins, the sport isn't probably in need of a revival. <laughs> it's a tough industry, but that will gather a five for the great recognition. Not sit around for seven years and do F all. <laughs> Sounds like an average high school, I'm down to think of it. Hey, how will you start in college? Oh, thank you. That's personal information I do not tend to disclose. <laughs> You're a piece of work, aren't you? What happened to talking in the train? It's guys seriously have the pride to scoot. So, hmm. so you have them oh, too. Look. We're all wearing the same wrist straps. Really? You're too busy talking to figure it out. When, so I figured you wouldn't notice unless I put it, point that out. Hey. Hey. Wrist straps, you say? <laughs> These efforts don't even look many shock collars. Those aren't mutually exclusive. I heard you the first time. So have you tried taking off, did you? Yes. Yep. Same with you. Actually, it was me who tried taking off. The stupid thing's that me as I did. Oh, I suspect it was unique. It wasn't unique, Miss Madison. No, I s didn't try try removing the strap myself. Equipping everyone with a strap that shocks them. What could justify something doing that? Well, the purpose behind the straps. Are you daft? It's just the shockers. I can't. The axe. I'm just gonna change the axe for every time. The thing is, we perceive a shock if we try and remove it. So, why are we on the road to remove these wrist straps? What I want to know that who put these things on us? The answers to these questions might have something to do to figure out ourselves. Uh, it doesn't make sense. I mean, they were abducted and taken somewhere I don't know. Surrounded by a bunch of strangers and forced to figure out why. Doesn't make any sense. Why is this happening? Oh? Hello. Oh, hello. hello. Are you talking hello. to me? No, look behind you. Huh? I'm curious to turn around to see what captures everyone's attention. For a second, I thought I was seeing things. Picking at us from behind the corridor was a small girl. Who are you? <laughs> is that is that a bloody gremlin? Miss Madison. <sighs> Miss Madison, you scare her if you shout like that. Uh. Hmm? The girl left her position in the corridor and slid into the room. Now I see her for certain that she was a kid. What in the hell? Why is there a kid there? For your information, I am not a gremlin. Did your mother ever never teach you manners? It's rude to back talk strangers you haven't met. No way! The gremlin can talk! 
I just told you, I'm not a gremlin. If we must make comparisons, you must liken me to something more elegant. For example, a kappa. That's not much better. Please be careful to what you say to her. This girl seems awfully young. She doesn't seem young. She is young. What is going on here? Why is there a child wandering about? You know what? I th you know what? Now I think of it, I'm pretty also sure you in the train. You were hidden behind some other people, so you were pretty hard to see. I assumed you were sitting down or something. I didn't even think to cross the mind you'd be an actual kid. <sighs> Carrying behind a bunch of strangers, huh? Because I didn't see you. Still, what the hell were you doing in that train? That's what I'm wondering. A kid's got no business being people like us. I do not appreciate my skitty con. Get comments about my age? I am a professional just like the rest of you. You mean you're an ultimate? Is that really true? Uh, I don't think a child children can qualify as ultimates. I am an ultimate. Must I keep repeating myself? I'm not a child, I'm a professional. Then what is are you so good at? <laughs> so you desire to know my talent, do you? Normally you decline to further conversation with rude people like you. But given our circumstances, I miss you sanguine of the matter. I am Toshigo Kayura, the ultimate <laughs> Wait, 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 one sec, that... <laughs> oh! Wait, match? Like that? Wait, what? Bit of a weird talent for someone so young. Uh, matchmaker? Are you a bit young for something like that? <laughs> Grim's obviously lying about having a talent. Bet it just stuck its way onto the train without any sort of commotion. <laughs> now, it's stuck with us. <laughs> now, look what you've done. You've made us sit. Upset? Of course, not. of course not. I know better to take a gremlin seriously. Oi! Don't you think you can use my own insults against me? Grace. What? Moving on. So, if you had things right, five of us were on that train. What about the other people that boarded it? Do you think they've been kept out as well? That is correct. Hmm? Apart from us, there's 11 other people. 11? Can't notice that makes 16. Correct. That's the same number of people who own the train. Quite. Oh, hmm, I've been well acquainted with them. Healthy. The only person I've been avoiding is that frustrating boy I woke up with. You won't believe his manners. And she also woke up with another person. I'm starting to see a pattern here. As does everyone else. Speaking of, would you like to meet the others? I think they might want should know about you four. That would be helpful, yes. Very well, I will salvage your guys and embark on our new journey. I'm so happy about this. This is a kidnapping, not a college orientation. Then again, it's not like I would go to most orientations willingly. Maybe those two events aren't so different after all. Where are the others right now? Obviously, they're outside the building. There's no exit. There's an exit not far from here. Follow me. Well, she seems to know more of us. It wouldn't help to entertain the idea. Ha! <laughs> Let's see what's happened. This thing's got her up her sleeve. Hmm. Outside this building. There's even more to this place we haven't seen already. There's other, build other buildings just like this one. Exactly how big of an area are we exploring? Standing here won't give me an answer. I should find the exit already. Alright. Let's go. Oh. Well, it's gone, whatever. Better work and better alone. It's weird. That thing of it's weird to have alone. I'm, I'm like I am. Okay, I'm hugging walls because I don't trust. Okay, I'm guessing it. Oh yeah, here. Yeah. <sighs> You're late. Huh? You're waiting. Oh, oh only because this grim insisted. I didn't even realize you fell behind until she said something. I'm ashamed to say the same. Well, By the way, what are the others doing right now? Exploring something or else, probably. Don't sound very sure of yourself. <laughs> they had the nerve to tell me to stay put while they inspected the area. If they don't really want me exploring, I suppose I'll explore myself. Alright. I think she just wanted to show off. <laughs> Who cares about that? The guys here are now. Let's go already. Yes! And now the others will realize their foolishness. Onwards, the great outdoors. 
This girl turned to face the door, but instead pushing it open, she reached to the lock that I hadn't noticed before. The door opened with a shrill screak, and we finally saw what's waiting outside. Oh? Just dead body. Oh, that's nice. Standing before us, bathing sunlight, was a massive Romanesque courtyard. Finally! Finally, some sunlight! This courtyard. I wonder if we can escape by climbing over the edges. The edges are tall, but we can look from a rope and... I doubt that it's that easy. The devices we're, we're wearing will probably shock us. <laughs> Let's see if you're right. Soybean. Go on, Soybean. Climb the hedge. Stop. What are the... No. Unfortunately, it's pointless to climb the hedges. How do you know? If you take a closer look at the sky, you should yeah. understand. The sky? Yes, do you see anything strange? Anything strange? No, there's nothing standing out to... We are. When my eye tried to adjust the glare of the sun, I noticed it. The shape of the clouds weren't normal at all. It was almost as if they were really concave. Uh. The sky is curving How inwards. Can be? How can this be? Uh, can we be looking at a hologram? Of course, this size? No, it's gotta be 360 projection or something. I mean, the yes. sky we're looking at is actually a video panorama. That's almost ridiculous as when said out loud, but at the same time, it made too much sense. If this is a 360 projection, then that mean we're inside some sort of dome? Such of a truth that I have re long recognised. That's... The grass. Wait, you know the sky is fake? Why do you call this dumb yard the grey outdoors? It was for dramatic effect. I, in truth, I haven't seen natural sunlight since the moment I woke up here. For oh, no sunlight? You really didn't see out the windows in this building? No, no not at all. No windows means no oxygen. We might suffocate as we speak. <laughs> we've survived this long. I think we'll be okay. You're acting way too nonchalant. Doesn't this place bother you at all? So don't wear fake sky. That's something out of a movie. Maybe whoever brought us here wanted to recreate the feeling of being outside and the lure of actually letting us outside. Sure, if you want to make that broad assumptions. In situations like this, make assumptions is all you really can do. There. Whether the sky is really a projection, it's not something we can do much about. For now, we should remain focused on the meeting the other students. Oh, a sniffing person from the same chat. I heard a high pitched noise, so if I may squeak. I was on like a no current conversation. It all might have stood out. Hey, can you guys stop talking for a sec? Is there a problem? Yeah. You hear that? Hi. Hey, you what? I almost sound like whimpering. Strike me oh. pink. Wait, I hear oh, it. You. Oh, you. What the hell's crying? Quit hiding. Come on, mm. talk to us. Do we know the shrew? Do we know the shrew? Her bark is worse than a bite. Who the hot hell are you calling a shrew? Oh. Crying seemed to stop, but whoever has refused to come mm. out. Can we just leave them be? Ah. Uh, if they don't want to help, um, it's not our issue. Goodness. Don't be so heartless. There could be someone in need. Be careful. Um, to the girl that's crying, please excuse my friend here. None of us are here to hurt you, so I think you should really come out of uh, hiding. Hiding will only make you more scared. You think? Do you think that's really going to convince them? Oh, it's them. Yeah. Eh? Uh, um. Um. Oh, I, uh, I, I wasn't. Uh... Hello. Oh, how about you tell us your name first? Um, uh, Eloise Toner. I'm the ultimate fencer. It, it's really nice to meet you all, even if it doesn't seem like it. Oh, ultimate fencer. Thing is, I'm already thinking like how they would be executed. I mean, it's ultimate ultimate fencer was it? Strange. That's strange. Someone with prophetic, prophetic fine shouldn't have a reason to hide from That's people. Not uh, actually, it uh, doesn't focus much on courage as people think. Um, the key of fencing is the ability to predict your opponent's move along with having agility to avoid them. Acting brashly you might get the first move, but it's a steady and able to mind the skills to win. That's uh, kind of impressive. Oh, thank you. I get getting excited when it comes to the subject, so I can't help but gush. But I have to ask, why are you hiding from us? Uh -huh. She stood there quietly, deep in thought. Okay. But now he woke up, I have no idea where or why. Where it was. Kind of 
There was uh, several strangers around me and they were also panicked as well. I feel like I'm out of the trap and everything around me was just suffocating. That's why I ran away immediately. I really don't like when people can see me like that. I already got- I couldn't even call my mom and my phone wasn't on me when it came to. If it's any reassurance, it seems my friends and I were in the same situation. That's probably the last thing she wants to hear since- When are we friends? Was there anyone with you when you woke up? Yes, yes, um, uh, I didn't get to talk to them before we went into the flight mode. Sorry. So this girl is just as clueless as us, and it seems like she also passed out in that train. Damn it, what the hell is going on here? Um, um uh, why are you people in that building, by the way? That was Kaya's. You're currently introducing us to everyone. Would you like to join? Maybe. Uh, I think uh, I want to stay where I am. Well, um, when we meet the others, I tell them to gather here, um, that way you won't be alone. Also, if everyone's together, we can discuss in this course of action. Yeah, I'll, I'll be here, and everything's bigger and easier for everyone. Many thanks, Many thanks Miss Turner. Compared to before, she looked a lot calmer. Wolfgang knows how to handle the situation perfectly, or maybe he just knows how to handle people in general. I guess it's admirable. Alright. Sup? I'm guessing he's an archer. <sighs> Guy was leaning against the hedge with his hands in his pockets. Nice. Looks like you found some friends. Indeed. Why don't Why don't you say? Indeed. Why don't you say hello? He looked at us and waved. I resisted the urge of the way back. Attention. Have you no manners? Talk to them. All, All right. My bad. Clear. I'm used. He stood up straight and faced us. Don't worry about it. Sorry about that. Didn't mean to act like a Egypt. The day's just been all over the place for me. <laughs> no excuse, I know. <laughs> I, suppose. I suppose I can forgive you if you give us your name. Easy enough. Hmm. I'm Desmond Hall. They call me the ultimate marksman. Marksman? Oh, that's actually better than an archer. Can you use all this stuff? Hear me out. A marksman, eh? That makes me pretty good at shooting stuff, right? That's right, I really got like, a good eye for my targets. Boat, guns, bows, slingshots, you name it. I hit bull's eyes with it. With all those weapons, I must ask, you haven't killed anyone, have you? Whoa. Oh, never! I realize my talent may leave some people on edge, but I only practice in stationary targets. Moving targets are really out of my comfort zone. Believe me, Believe me I've never taken out human life. He says human life. What about your life? What about deers? I see. Uh, good to know. For such a serious question, he composed himself pretty well quickly. Guess this guy knows how to keep so... his cool. So, where are your partners? We only... We all had one, to my knowledge. Hmm. Oh, you mean that pirate guy? He was, uh, well, uh... He was fine. Harmless, for the most part. Just a little too extreme to be around. Situations like this, I preferred to keep myself. I know it sounds less cooperative, but, yeah. you know... Yeah, uh, I know what you mean. Oh, just wait a sec. Right. Huh? You. 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 Did you just say a pirate? Mm. That just sounds dumb, but uh, I wouldn't buy it either if I hadn't spoken to the guy myself. <laughs> it's gotta be a freaky dude on the train, right? The buff one with the dragon tattoo? Yep. yep. That's your guy. Went through the door over there, so... <laughs> ha! I gotta see him. Totally. You, you have fun with that. Just saying, the guy's a little out by there. The way... By the way, uh, Desmond, did you see the girl in the grey uniform over there? I told her we're gonna bring everyone here. I think it's a uh, point we discuss the current situation in this group. Could you give her some company while I'm gone? Easy oh, sure thing. Now there's others oh, are not a bunch, so good luck convincing them. Me act casual, but being an ultimate marksman must come with a lot of dilig diligence. Diligence. Always keeping a steady hand, always thinking your feet. It's probably a lot to learn from someone like that. Oh. Everyone else must be in the building up ahead. Perhaps they are discussing oh something. My. Let's head over and find out, shall we? Alright. Yay, they're hanging out together. We're getting people together. 